At around 1 a.m. on June 9th of 1972, there was a man that was seen arguing with a teenage girl on the intersection of 11th Avenue and 8th Street in St. Petersburg, Florida. This girl was armed with a broken bottle and a knife. Now, they have the identity of the man, Lawrence Dorn, and he claims that he just pushed the girl into the roadway in an act of self-defense. This girl was hit by a moving truck. Now, this female was approximately 14 to 16, but possibly could have been as young as 11, or as old as 20. She had shoulder-length wavy red hair, and her eyes were a shade of blue. It was also determined that she was a nail biter because her nails were very short. Also, she had three birthmarks on her back, distinctive freckling on her shoulders, and they believe that one of her teeth was chipped due to being struck by a vehicle or the truck that hit her. She was wearing a multicolored dress and purple tights at the time of her death. Now, it is a strong belief that she was a runaway teenager, and this is because the clothes she was wearing is similar to that of the clothes that she was given by other people, of which then indicated that she didn't really have anything. So the clothes on her back literally were borrowed. So, Lawrence Dorn was arrested and charged with the murder, but this would then be reduced to manslaughter, but unfortunately these charges were dropped because and this case would be closed due to the fact that they were unable to prove malicious intent to kill when he in fact pushed this girl. So the body would be buried in Memorial Park Cemetery in St. Petersburg, but her body would be exhumed from an ungrave, unmarked grave in 2010 to obtain a DNA sample. So on May 20th of 2015, Janice Marie Young would be identified. Her brother Timothy had been searching for her for decades, trying to locate her. During one of his internet searches, he looked up Janice Brock. Now, Brock was actually their original surname. I'll kind of get into that in a little bit. And he, what he found was a police sketch of the victim, and he thought it looked just like Janice. He thought it looked just like his sister. He then called the police on January 28th of 2015. Now, the DNA from the body was compared to that of Timothy, and it was a positive match. This was indeed Janice Marie Young. So, the siblings were put into foster care after being taken away from their parents' care and so their family name was changed from young, ch changed to Young from Brock when they were formally adopted in 1969. Janice had run away from her adoptive parents' house in Newport News, Virginia. This was after she was raped from well, raped by one of her adoptive siblings, and her brother Timothy had unfortunately witnessed this attack. Now, Janice had no intent of running away when she had put her belongings in her pillowcase and left the house, but unfortunately she just didn't return. Timothy has since received her remains and her body was cremated. So that, my friends, is the case of Janice Marie Young, another one that had just recently been identified. Yes, this was in 2015, but still, all the cases that can be identified is better than having all the unidentified John Doe's and Jane Doe's in this world. So with that being said, I hope you guys learned from something from this video and I'll see you guys in another one.